A fight between family members is not all that rare of an occurrence, but in one Florida home in 2010, two brothers went to war, and only one survived. This tragic death was then followed by a truly disturbing act, as brother buried brother and left him to be discovered by his own parents. Hello? I need a police. My brother killed my brother. I heard the street name. What's you going outside or somewhere so I can hear you? I killed my brother and he's in the ground. I'm honestly here, please. I can't make out what you're saying. Slow down. Slow down. Okay. Don't yell. Don't yell into the phone. Talk normal and okay. slow down. My, my brother, Stanley yeah. Elias Eckerd. Your brother killed. Was? My brother, yes. Stanley Elias Eckerd. Killed. I don't, I can't. My. I can't get that. He killed. Your six year old brother? No. Okay. He killed my other brother. When? And buried him in my back, my mom's backyard. When? Please. I don't, three days ago, please, 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 because my brother's here and he sees us digging up the body. He's gonna kill us. Oh my god. How did he you killed your brother? Wait a minute. How did he you did? Do you? I, I, he's in the ground. My, my dad's digging him out now and he's sitting there deep with me. Please. How do you, okay, wait, 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 okay. You need, you need to slow, slow down. Slow down. I need to find out what's going on at this house before I send anybody there. Somebody, okay. Okay, slow down and... There's a dead boy in the ground. Okay, how do you know this? What do you see? Because I see him. It's my brother. How do you see him if he's in the ground? I swear to God, yeah. it's my brother. Oh, my mother's wife, dog. Please, please. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The whole body. I don't know. You were there when my brother was here. You were here when my brother was here. Hello? Okay, he, I heard you, but what is all the shouting for? Because we're upset because my brother killed my brother. Please. How old are these people you're talking about? What, who, who's, who killed who? How old is the person? Who's dead? Who's what's my brother, your brother, who is nine, who's 21. He uh -huh. came to Sammy Elias Eckerd. Who's he? Okay, who's my brother? He killed my 19-year-old brother, and he's in the f***ing backyard. Okay, when the dirt. When did this happen? The last time anybody seen him was Friday night. Friday night? Him and his son, Danny, who lives here, they both saw him according to life. I don't know about Danny. I don't know, but please. Okay, please. listen to me. Listen to me. Help is on the way, okay? Oh, please. Your name oh. outside. I'm outside. Okay. But I'm, I'm really scared because my mom's talking to my brother and I don't want him to kill me. The police are coming. Okay. Now, okay, wait, I have a minute. To wait, wait, wait. Don't hang up. Don't hang up. Don't hang up yet. Oh, please. Do, do, oh, please. The 19 year old is in the ground. Okay. You, no, you never answered me. How do you know this? Do you see a body part? What do you see? No, the whole body. My dad is over his body right now. I can't understand. Oh, no, I can't understand you. You, you can see my that. dad is laying over the body. We just dug up the dirt because my brother had dug a hole the other night. So I came to my mom today and I said, I said, Mom, we need to dig up that hole. What's in that hole? And she said, Let's go. So, so your, father, your father dug up the dirt and he's laying over the person that's in there. He's, he's digging him out of the ground. Oh, my God. He's, he's screaming. He's over the body. I don't want to go over there right now. Okay. But my mom is in the room with my other brother. The I'm 20, scared, my brother. The 21-year-old? Yes. yes, the one who killed him. Oh, Was this a shooting, or do you know what happened? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I don't think there's any weapons in the house. Does everybody live together oh. in this house? Huh? Does everybody live together in this house? Do you all I know. My mom, the brothers, yes. Okay. Do you live my mom? Huh? Do you live? No. Please. They're on the way. No! They're on the way now. They can't hear me. They're already on the way. 
The deputy's getting ready to pull down your street. Can you stay on the line till you till you see oh, the car? Yes, yes, tell him that it's... Don't hang on. Oh, the police are pulling up the street now, you. Uh-oh. I'm you're, not sure oh. how, you're not sure how he killed him? No, I don't know. I just know he's been in the ground for probably since Friday night. And his um, they need to take my brother, and they also please let the sheriff know they need to take the other boy that's here because they're the two that What's your brother? Okay, what's the 21-year-old's name? Stanley Elias Eckerd. Okay, that's what I'm not getting. I hear Eckerd as the last name. Say the first name again. First name Stanley. Stanley? Yes. Okay. Stanley Elias Eckerd? Correct. Is it E, Elias with an E? Yes. Okay. And is it E-C-K-E-R-D? Yes, E C K A R D. Do you know the name of his friend? Danny. Darren? Danny. Say it again, one more time, slower. Danny. I can't hear you. D A N N Y. Oh, Danny, okay. And yes. uh, and he's there with your brother also? Yes, Danny. He says you don't know what happened. He says he doesn't know anything. Okay, 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 stop, stop, stop. Your, let me just make sure. Your brother, the oh, 20 year old, his name is Stanley? Elias Eckerd. Stanley Elias Eckerd. And his he friend, has a record. And his friend Danny is there also? Yes. Okay, all right. They're, they're going to be there in a second, okay? Okay, can you wait outside with the police? I'm out in the front. I'm out in the front. You're out in the front? Oh, yeah. Now, if you're going to go to jail, just please stop, okay? There's going to be more than one cop yes, in the yes, city. Yes. Oh, no, yes, there's more than one. Absolutely. He was, he was the closest unit. Okay, can I get off the phone now? You're going to get off the phone? I'm not going to stop. Okay, don't yell at me. I'm here to help her. I'm here to help. My brother, Ted Elias, is in the house. He's the one that's going to I'm going to get off the phone now. You're going to get off the phone now. Okay. Yeah. All right. I got to get off. All right. Bye. June 19th, 2010, Brooksville, Florida. 21-year-old Stanley Elias Eckerd and his 19-year-old younger brother, Sean, are engaged in a heated argument. The two siblings are verbally sparring over Sean's girlfriend. Stanley is jealous of Sean and openly admits his attraction to the girl in question. But this exchange of words soon turns physical, and the two brothers begin a dangerous wrestling match. The altercation quickly gets out of hand when Stanley hears a pop as both he and his brother hit the floor. Stanley is physically uninjured, but he quickly comes to the conclusion that the noise he just heard was the sound of his brother's neck breaking. Stanley Eckerd has accidentally killed his younger sibling, but instead of calling emergency services, the 21-year-old man makes the abhorrent decision to bury his brother's body in the backyard. He would later claim this unthinkable act was done to protect his mother as he did not want her to see her own son's corpse. Stanley cited his mother's weak heart as his true reason for hiding Sean's body in such a macabre manner. Though he seemingly spared no thought for his father, as Samuel Eckhart would be the one to make the horrifying discovery when digging up the shallow grave just three days later. Sean Eckhart's absence was noted on the Friday evening. The family believed he was missing. They, of course, had no idea that he was actually buried in the dirt outside their home. Stanley Eckerd had been spotted burying something in the garden, though when family members asked him what he was doing, he claimed to have been burying his ex-girlfriend's clothes as he was sick and tired of looking at them. Given that a simple trash bag would have sufficed for Stanley in this situation, the young man's family became suspicious. Stanley and Sean's father, Samuel, then dug the dirt where his son was seen actively hiding something, the father then collapsed in shock upon finding the cold body of his 19-year-old boy. Before Samuel Eckhart made the heartbreaking discovery, Stanley sent text messages to Sean's girlfriend, the very girl he and his brother had been fighting over, and told her that they could now be together as Sean would soon be breaking up with her. Did Stanley truly believe he could keep Sean's body hidden and steal his girlfriend without raising any suspicions? 
Or was the 21-year-old simply not thinking straight after committing such a horrendous crime? Whatever Stanley's motivations were, they mattered little. Stanley stayed away from the family for the weekend after burying Sean. But after Sean's body was found and the third Eckerd sibling made a frantic call to 911, law enforcement did not have to look far to find the culprit. Stanley Elias Eckard was arrested and charged with first-degree murder. Sean Eckard's cause of death was found to be a fractured skull. When questioned, Stanley assured police that he had never intended to actually kill his own brother and that Sean's death was a complete accident. Thanks to Stanley's text messages to Sean's girlfriend and the fact that he buried his brother after the act, this was difficult for law enforcement to believe. Investigators then discovered that Sean Eckerd was suffering from a brain condition prior to the accident, and that he had previously been in a coma for more than a year. As a result, he had a severely compromised immune system and was underweight. It was then concluded that if Sean Eckerd had been healthy during the scuffle with his older brother Stanley, he most likely would have survived his fall. This, along with Stanley's confession that he did not mean to kill Sean, prompted the jury to lessen Stanley's charge to second-degree murder. Stanley Eckard turned down a plea deal that would have seen his sentence capped at a maximum of 20 years, and instead was sentenced to 50 years behind bars. This was despite both of Stanley and Sean's parents pleading for leniency when it came to sentencing. Their mother Donna was distraught upon hearing that her eldest son would spend the next five decades locked up, she stated that the case was no homicide, but rather a tragic family accident. When friends and family were questioned about the relationship between the two boys, many noted that they would often fight and get into arguments, but that it always remained play and never escalated into anything more serious. Tyler Fioschetta, a friend of both Stanley and Sean, shared how he believed the act was out of character for the 21-year-old. All the times I hung out with him, I never seen one violent tendency to him. And I hung out with his brother too, and I seen his brother a week and a half, two weeks prior to this happening, Tyler Fiochetta. Despite those close to the brothers sharing positives about their personalities and behavior, nearby residents had a vastly different recollection of the brothers. It was the rowdy house of the neighborhood. You know, they always have the cops there. They always have loudness, fighting, those kind of things. Nicole Quarto. Another neighbor stated that the neighborhood is known as a relatively quiet, peaceful area, with the exception of the Eckerd House. Both Stanley and Sean were high school dropouts, Stanley first, followed by Sean. Though it is possible that Sean's reasoning for leaving high school early was due to his struggles with illness. Stanley was also noted to have a passion for martial arts and enjoyed collecting weapons such as swords. One former friend told how he used to play video games with the brothers, but confessed that he had stopped hanging out with Stanley after the eldest Eckerd brother started doing what was vaguely described as bad stuff. Samantha Rowe, the girl that the two Eckerd boys had initially been fighting over, took the stand during Stanley's trial and shared details of a conversation she had with the accused after Sean's death. He told me that he was a lot more relaxed now that Sean had left and there wasn't so much tension in the house anymore, Samantha wrote. The 911 dispatcher, who handled the call from the Eckard home after the family found Sean's body, was heavily criticized for her performance. Her failure to assist the Eckards in a prompt and professional manner was targeted, as well as her repeated request for the youngest Eckard sibling to repeat details of the incident. The emergency dispatcher was allegedly disciplined in the aftermath and the matter appears to have been dealt with internally. The fight that ended Sean Eckard's life on June 19, 2010, was fueled by Stanley's uncontrollable jealousy. Stanley's actions afterward, though, are what make this crime all the more disturbing and are much of the reason why Stanley Eckard will now spend most of his life in prison. At his trial, Stanley offered the following apology to his family. I made bad decisions, and I just continued making them. I wish there was some way I could take it back, but it doesn't matter because I can't. I'm just sorry. Stanley Elias Eckerd. Even though Stanley robbed his family of a life, his parents continue to support him and are likely now looking to repair any damage to the Eckard family that they can. 
The reality is, though, Donna and Samuel Eckhart have lost one son to death and another to prison. Some would say there is no such thing as a family that doesn't fight, but few could ever imagine the kind of pain caused by the tragedy in the Eckerd home. This was one wrestling match between two brothers over a girl they both yearned for. It got out of hand and destroyed an entire family. 